Okay, so I figured out how to get, I don't know if you guys know how to do this, I mean, if you do, then that's fine, you don't need to watch this video then. This video is basically going to be about, um, it's like me, if you, if you have, um, snow leopard like me, and for some reason, my snow leopard, my, it, so I got it my Mac, and it, it came with a snow leopard disc, but then the, the disc, the other disc it came with, had Xcode on it, but it had the newest version that's for line, and it won't work. As you can see, if I try to double click and open it, it will say, because I'm on, because I'm on, um, snow leopard, it will say, Xcode cannot be opened because of this problem, and you have to have, um, you have to have, what is it called, um, Lion for Xcode, but there is a way, I'm pretty sure you can only do this if you register as a developer, but you can do that free, if you watch my last video, you can do that free, so you register, and then you can, you're able to download this, which is basically, I clicked it at the bottom, I just found this out, and I, I'm really happy because I really wanted to do this for a long time, is you can download Xcode 3.2.6, and the iOS SDK 4.3 for Snow Leopard, and you can download these. Um, that way, on Snow Leopard, you can play, or you can do this, and, yeah, and now I'm going to do this. So, we will see how that works. Yes, we will. I will make a video when I'm, okay, apparently didn't come up in my downloads. I will delete this. Dang, this thing is like taking forever. What the hell? Five hours left, really. It was like 55 minutes like a long time ago. Let's see if it goes now. Okay, it looks to see. It looks that it, okay, it has started. What the fuck? Oh, SDK, thank god, I thought it was, like, the newer version of it. Um. So, yeah, this is basically how to download, um, Xcode 3, if you want. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, well, okay then. I guess. This came up now. That's cool. Okay, um. So yeah, if you're one of those people like me, you've got, you have a snow leopard, you just don't know what to do, you think there's no way you can get, um, what is it called, there's no way you can get Xcode and use it, then, you, then you're wrong, because I have Xcode, but I may have to delete Xcode because of this, so, if I were to say trying to overwrite and cannot be completed unless I delete it, so, yeah, um, but that can be done easily. As long as I have App Cleaner, I think. I think that was what it was. One of these things I have that is really awesome. It, like, you put an app in it, and it, and it, like, takes the app, and everything that's connected to it, not, not, like, the files that you make off the app, but everything that's connected, or depends on, everything that's connected to the app, and it just deletes it. So, basically, like, sometimes it will inject, like, dot .dll, dot .dll files into stuff and stuff like that. Um, and it's really annoying. Wait, no, some distributions of Xcode do not include the iOS SDKs. Verify the presence outside custom install pane. Okay, um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that I'm going to have to publish these videos because I'm going to make like four videos tonight. I, I got to publish them because I'm always running out. I hate how the iPhone, the video space is like really, really big. Like if I record, um, if I record a, uh, a video on on like my computer it's gonna be like really small but then if I record a video on my iPhone it's like it takes up like a hundred something megabytes for like a five minute video and it's really annoying and it takes up all my space if I make like one more video I only made like three videos and I deleted like all my other videos and and it's and I usually have like one gigabyte left and it fills it up in like in like five videos so it's really annoying that's the problem that they need to fix they need to put a lot more memory in here into the iPhones, and this is a, uh, I think it's 30, you know, it's 20, about 20, I think, or 16 gigabytes, so, yeah, I just wanted to, um, point that out, that you could do this, if, if you need a specific link, like, you may, here, you know, actually, I'll just go here, because I, this is the register as developer, if you go down here, or, 
if I go to here because I'm already a developer as you can see I didn't pay for it at all I swear but if you don't believe me that's cool I don't really care so I just click on this and it, I already have this um I already have all this I just went down here and where did I find it the hell now it's like different than it was before I think I was showing I was like on iOS developer yeah this is what I was on I just went down here I tried and it says download Xcode for and like so you go under I if you once you become a developer go under iOS dev center even if you're not a developer for, for this like if I do this if I click on downloads it's just gonna bring me down here and um and it's gonna go here and it's gonna say like I gotta you know, download this I guess but see, right under this, if you can't see, Xcode, as you can see, right, is right there. Under Xcode, it says, looking for Xcode 3 for Snow Leopard. And then it clicks, and then you click download, and it's going to take you to, to this page that has the two downloads on it. You just click on whatever you one you want. It's going to be those. It's, it's too long for me to put in. The description since I'm doing this off my phone, I never upload them to my computer, so that I, I can't. If I get banned from YouTube, I'm pretty much screwed because I have a lot of videos up right now and I don't have them stored anywhere. And I, I just delete them after I, after I put them up, so I may have to make like all new videos if I ever get banned or something. Not, that's kind of not smart. I just don't feel like wasting space on anything, but I right, well, enough of that. But as that's that's how basically how you get developer. Or how you get Xcode 3.2.6 for Snow Leopard. If you have any questions, you can post a comment, and I'll be glad to answer questions. Okay, bye.